Governor Adam Sushomole, who read through the agreement reached in a meeting with NLC, TUC and JNI in 2011, explained that he has met over 70 percent of their demands while he has assured them that certain processes have commenced to address what is left. For instance, he said for the demand on employment and the release of promotion for civil servants, he has forwarded the list of nominees for the Civil Service Commission to the House of Assembly for ratification, since it is the responsibility of the Commission to take charge of such duty. He said the outstanding 10.5% for teachers' special allowance for primary school is an issue they can take up with local government councils. The governor who condemned the strike action added that he has made frantic efforts to explain the financial status of the state that has nosedived as a major factor affecting government policies and programs. While appreciating the Joint Action Committee on Medical and Dental Consultants and Resident Doctors for shunning the strike, Governor Shomoli assured that he is looking at how best to deal with issues affecting health workers in the state to check imminent brain drain. You know what I thought was a dispute? We have addressed them, we made commitment, as said issues are collapsed. We have granted, if you like, about 70% or 60% of what you asked for. And the other one, we have said, why? There is no case at all. The other one, no balance, I have said, fine. We will address it. And there is no way we are able to address that of doctors and not address that of nurses. Earlier, Chairman of the Committee, Dr. Patrick Okundia, thanked Governor Shomole for acknowledging their efforts, pointing out that doctors are rendering skeletal services. That the mortality in our hospitals, there from road traffic accident, has drastically reduced. This has, was as a result of uh, the ban. The Joint Action Committee on Medical and Dental Consultants and Resident Doctors are expected to meet with Governor Shomole by the end of February 2014. Christy McCauley reporting.